Korean barbecue is super fun like this because as the meat is getting cooked, you're looking at it, you're hearing the sizzle, you're smelling it. Hi, my name is David Shrimp from Coke Korean Steakhouse and we're gonna show you how to do Korean barbecue at home. I brought some different cuts from the restaurant. Kalbi, it is one of the staples of Korean barbecue. It's marinated with a sweet soy marinade. Direct translation is short rib. So today we're gonna focus on how to cut, marinate, cook the short rib. So we're gonna start with our Korean style short rib. If you go to your butcher, you can ask for a quarter inch. This is the simplest way of making this kalbi at home. Just take this kalbi and put it into marinade. Next cut is boneless short rib. And it's really simple. Cut it down so that it's not such a wide piece. We start from the top, make a little incision, pull back, work your way down. There's silver skin on the top, there's the fat on the bottom. Both of them needs to be removed, otherwise it's gonna be really hard to chew. Start from the side where the meat is thicker and then work your way down. So right now what we have is clean short rib. It's a little bit too thick. So what we're gonna do is get the knife in, push the meat down, and we're gonna cut it down the middle, but please do be careful, it is a bit dangerous. Two thin slices of short rib. So we cut it thinner so that meat cooks quicker. At the same time, there's enough time for the marinade to actually absorb and get the char. From here, we're gonna cut the beef on a diagonal. Gently push, you don't wanna cut it all the way through. We're gonna flip it over. If you do it correctly, it's gonna stretch like an accordion. Then it should kind of stretch out. I can kind of see you guys. Okay, we'll save that for later. So the last piece, this is the most advanced skill for the short rib. So if you go to Korean barbecue, there are times when they serve the meat with the bone. It's flat or fanned out like the ones that we've done before. So first, you're gonna take this little fat off the meat by just kind of like scraping the bone and pull off any excess fat. Push this back, expose the bone, just go around it. Starting from the thin side, we're gonna go into the thick side. You don't wanna cut the bone all the way through. Push down, and then we're gonna make a small incision. And don't cut it all the way through. Open this, we can save for later. S small snack, and we're gonna do it again. From a piece like this, you can make it this way. And we're gonna do the same thing like we did before, we're just gonna make a small incision so that the marinade is able to penetrate to the, through the meat. Flip it over, roll it back, keep it this way until you need to marinate it, and it'll stay intact. We're gonna start making the marinade. Orange, pear, onion, garlic, and ginger. We try to emphasize on the pear because the pear really breaks down the protein and tenderizes the beef. We're gonna juice all the ingredients. Once that is ready, we're gonna add the sugar, mirin. If you don't have rice wine vinegar, you can use apple cider vinegar, white vinegar still works. Soy sauce. All right, the marinade is ready. Easiest way is to use a Ziploc bag. Put the beef in, add enough marinade so that it covers the beef. Give it a little bit of a massage so that the beef is intact with all the marinade. Refrigerate it about five to six hours before use. We do it for about 10 to 12 hours, but you'll notice if it sits in the marinade too long, the protein will actually start to break down too much. While the meat is marinating, we're gonna do a very quick pickle. It only consists of four ingredients. Daikon is a very neutral um, tasting vegetable and you, you can input a lot of different flavors and it is very refreshing as well if you're having a lot of beef. We're gonna do a julienne. Wet ingredients first, rice wine vinegar, water, sugar, and salt. Bring the liquid up to a boil and we're just gonna pour it over hot. This can be served when it's completely cooled down. The next pickle that we're gonna make is a soy-based pickle. It is a bit more savory. Let's cut the onions in slices. We don't wanna cut it too thin because we wanna cut it similar thickness to the jalapeno so that when they pickle, the pickling time is similar for both ingredients. Next, we're gonna cut the jalapeno, similar thickness to the onions. And if you like spicy, you can put more. If you don't, you don't have to add as many. Soy sauce, water, sugar and salt, and vinegar. Once the pickling liquid comes to a boil, just gonna pour it over. Don't breathe. 
same as the one before. We're gonna let it cool down before we serve or eat. Now that we pickled the vegetables, marinade finished with the beef, it's time to eat. And we set up the tables with all the fixings from coat. Cabbage kimchi, pickled chayote and jalapeno, daikon, the same one that we made before. This is a kakdugi, which is radish kimchi. And this is scallion salad. The important thing about Korean barbecue is that if there's nobody that tells you how to eat, you can mix and match any flavors that's available to you. All you need to do is really enjoy the cuisine, enjoy your company and have a great time. And with that, I have brought my partner, Simon Kim. How are you? Very well. <clears throat> Looking good over here. Awesome. Ready? Yeah. And we're gonna go right into the short ribs. We're gonna start off with the hot pan. We're gonna grease it with our dry aged beef. We have here the ones that we're marinating for you know a couple of hours. This is the kalbi that is cut about quarter inch thick, and we're just gonna Ooh, place it down. Okay, it smells great, though. Yeah. Be careful of the marinade because it will burn if you if you don't keep an eye out. So what I like to do is instead of keeping the beef in one spot, I like to just move it around, deglaze the pan. Korean barbecue is super fun like this because as the meat is getting cooked, you're looking at it, you're hearing the sizzle, you're smelling it. it smells so delicious. We can sit around and have really convivial and interactive experience as opposed to someone feeding me on a dinner table. Cheers. Cheers. All right, and look, these are all ready to go. In Korean barbecue, scissor becomes a very important tool. If I have just one of these guys, you just snip, snip, and you're ready to go. I mean, there are many ways of showing that you love someone, but I feel like nothing speaks that you love someone more than a little flavor explosion of kalbi in a sam, right, chef? There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And this is a fun cut because we serve it with the bone. And growing up as a kid, I hate eating the bone because it's chewy, sinewy, but more and more you taste it, there's so much flavor that comes from the meat that is around the bone. It has like real flavors and whatnot. So this is completely wrapped around the bone. What you want to do is you want to basically... Now you have clean bone. Super delicious. Cool, chef. All so we right. got a bunch of steak, bunch of meat, bunch of banchan, bunch of booze. I feel like it's time to welcome everybody and start, start feasting. All right, let's do it. Party on. Let's have some fun. So this is called Grand Slam. So you just go pop, go. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> everybody needs to take a glass. Cheers. Cheers! Thank you so much. What a day. What a day. Cheers. Yeah. 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 Woo. Woo. Damn. If you need the recipes, click the link below. Everyone, we're from Code Korean Steakhouse. See you there. Come join us. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> to make that look so easy.